let, let me think now. I was born, you know, Anjali said I was born in 1964. No, I was ordained priest in 1964. That makes me whatever. My maths is terrible. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. Well, as I said, born in 1939, um, August. Then went straight through school. Well, after that, I joined the seminary. People ask me very often, you know, how did you know that you know uh, you had a vocation to the priesthood? So, just nothing extraordinary. There's no question of some kind of apparition or something, <laughs> or, or Jesus telling you, "Hey, come along, fellow. You know, <laughs> we want you." Um, but no, it's something which gradually has an impact for some reason or another. I suppose it's the same as how anybody else adopts any other kind of profession, if you like, you know. Uh, you are impressed by some series of events or some people who exercise that thing. Uh, and I was impressed by the priest who was something more than just academics. You had to form people. You had to touch their character, their, their principles, their values, you know. And so I grew up seeing this Father Ashnas, who was my parish priest, actually. I suppose I somehow other felt it's nice to be like him. <laughs> uh, I was very young at that time, no? ten years old or something like that. No? I decided I'd go to the seminary and become a priest like Father Ashnas. No? How do I? in a sense, break away from this kind of idea of religion being necessary for morality. Something general, a basic morality in human nature, which could be accepted by all. Dr. Go Geng Sui, you know, he felt it was necessary in any society to have a moral fiber. What is good as opposed to unacceptable, a moral basis upon which to build. And that's how I got involved in moral education. Moral education being and becoming uh, came to be. <laughs> you don't have to be, I don't know, the president of a republic or something. Do unto others as you would have others to do unto you. To put yourself last, if you like, and put others first before you. all saying, but to me its validity is always there, you know, because each one has a responsibility, you know. Whatever we do, uh, whatever we say, has a lasting and a tremendous impact on a whole lot of other people and things. I think that's our greatest responsibility, if you like, and most difficult task, is to ensure it redounds to the betterment of others and the benefit of others. That's not easy. But I think we won't necessarily succeed in everything, but we must try. And I think if we did try, I say the world would be a far better place to live in.